Hey guys, what's up? So today's video is gonna be how I get a perfect Bantu knot out. As you can see, my hair is freshly washed, no product, looking kinda crazy, and I'm going to be using my amazing detangler to fix that. And I'm also gonna be using some castor oil, some aloe vera juice to hydrate my hair, which I've already sprayed throughout my head, so that's why you don't see me using it, and the Aunt Jackie's Curl La La Curl Custard defining thing. So yeah, let's get started. I already did a few Bantu knots in the back so you guys can see the sizes that I'm going for. They're not super small but they're not big either so it's kind of just like a medium size. And like I said, I already put in aloe vera juice so I'm not going to do it again. I'm just going to go in by, with the Curl La La Curling Cream and then seal that with the castor oil. So I'm just doing the lock method on my hair to get the perfect set. Before doing the Bantu knots, I really like to detangle so then when I'm taking it down, I'm not ripping through my hair and creating frizz. I like it to be as detangled as possible so then it looks clean when I take it out. So I'm obviously going to, like I said, lock it in with some castor oil and then I'm just going to start twirling my hair. So I'm kind of doing... Um, like a what do you call them a finger coil I don't know so I'm just twirling it between my fingers just like this and then I'm gonna wrap that around itself to make a nice little bantu knot so I'm not just gonna take my hair and start wrapping it I like to twirl it and then wrap so then my hair is super stretched and super defined and just really neat when I take it out So this process is pretty straightforward. You just have to take your time and get it nice and tight so then you're not wasting your time and taking out frizzy bantu knots the next morning. So I'm just gonna show you guys a couple more times with another piece and then I'm sure you guys will understand exactly what I'm doing. And I am securing these knots with some bobby pins and they can be a little hard on your scalp so make sure you don't pin them too tight because it'll be it'll be really sore when you sleep on it so yeah I'm just twirling and then wrapping it's really simple and then I go ahead and I put some gel on my edges just so I can wake up and it's already kind of neat and done instead of having just like frizzy edges and then having to do that in the morning that's just I don't know I like to do this the night before Okay, so before I wrap my hair, it's super important to make sure that all the knots are tight and secure so nothing comes undone while I'm sleeping. And for the wrapping part, I like to use a satin scarf first. And then I go ahead and I take my jumbo bonnet and then I pull that over my head. Kind of looks like a granny panty. But anyways, <laughs> I put that over it just to make sure if something does come off, there's still another layer of protection and yeah I'm gonna go to sleep so this will dry within the next like I don't know 12 hours honestly you want it to be super super dry or else it will not look nice I promise you these this kind of style really needs to set it's not like a twist out where you can kind of work with it no like this one really really needs to set so as you can see it is super dry super bouncy and it has actually taken shape in the little twirls that we did so if it's not dry it's not gonna look like this but yeah, I use some castor oil on my hands or grapeseed oil to take down these Bantu knots just so it's nice and smooth and soft and I'm not creating any frizz. And as you can see, I'm just untwirling them very gently. Okay, so as you can see, I'm not separating any of the curls just yet. I'm gonna take out all the Bantu knots just because they're not super small or super tight curls. So if I separate them now, there's gonna be a lot of frizz and the definition might go away a bit. So as you can see, I've taken them all out and then I'm gonna start separating each curl a little bit. And then I like to massage my scalp and stretch out the roots as much as I can before I start styling. Personally, I do not like to leave them out like this or in a fro or anything because it looks kind of weird to me. So I'm gonna put it up into a little frohawk or fauxhawk or mohawk whatever you want to call it and I'm just gonna pin up the sides into the middle of my head as you can see and depending on your face shape your head shape your style you can kind of do this however you want this is just how I do it I pull it up to the middle and I like to leave a lot in the front to have a bit of a bang and then I just bobby pin it and play with it and fluff it as I go it's really easy it's very um, individual to each person um, that's why I'm not kind of explaining it too much you guys can see what I'm doing I'm just pinning it up basically so 
So as you can see, as I'm going along, the curls are kind of separating and getting fluffier and bigger. It still looks really good and really defined because I didn't do too much in the beginning. And I'm putting some bobby pins in the front of my hair just because, like I said, I like a lot going on in the front. I like a lot of bang, I like a lot of, you know, and I like it to come down really low, which is why I bobby pin it down like that. And then I just go through and separate and fluff and just pin wherever I need to pin and make it look the way I want it to look. It's very simple, do it how you want and it'll look good for you. So on the sides of my hair, I like to pull out some curls just to add some style, and I use some Eco Styler to define them. If your hair doesn't work that way, feel free to use some perm rods to get that perfect coil on the sides of your head, or your hair, whatever. And then of course, I go ahead and I slick my edges so it looks nice and clean, even though this style is kind of crazy and free and messy. So my Bantu knot curls are nice and defined. They're clean, but they're still fluffy and fun, you know, so that's what I like about this and this is how I like to wear it so this is basically it for this style I hope you guys enjoyed it getting a good Bantu knot out can be really difficult but my key tip is just to let it dry and I promise you it'll look good try using the lock method you don't have to use gel or anything crazy the lock method and just having dry hair and I promise you it'll work just try it out see how it goes and let me know if you guys have any other questions comment down below don't forget to thumbs up subscribe and yeah, follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.